Hello people, this is Mervyly Myers from Alma Grove, Bermondsey and I'm going to be making some little podcasts to tell my story of the journey I've been on the past seven years because once more today I had, I had to call out for help with my situation because once more I reached rock bottom and I'm going to show you what I've written there. March 7, 2019, it says they don't know me until they want to pick my brain. No way, I will go text and get a hello. My future may are secure. And I'm just going to carry this around my house to show you some of my memories to do with my journey so far. In, in the United Kingdom over there over there take note of that publication 2004 on balance a happy ending and this gave me a focus so I decorated for my husband's birthday which my daughter-in-law is going to host on zoom so that's me brought those flowers in here for somehow yeah right so i'm not gonna i'm gonna make them short and specific with the documents i have in order for you to understand what i'm trying to do and say is i'm gonna read this yeah how do i know what time so i'm gonna try and keep them in it's 1813, so I'm going to try and keep it specific to the point. Right, so as you can see, it's Wednesday, 18th March 2015, 1604. Dear Mervilly, I was sorry to read your email and have noted your concerns. I am sorry that I have not forwarded the details of the support service we have available, but the number is, I'm not going to read the number, I have to rush on. It is a free and confidential information and advice service. You can find you can also find details on the internet at work life support. Please be assured that all leave processes and policies are written to incorporate the ideals of fairness and justice and the people who investigate are chosen because they are independent from the nursery. And all I'm going to say in the first sentence from the Dillis Ipton, she says sorry two times, or the first paragraph, and she's admitted that she did not send the information that she promised. Okay? So I'm moving on, because I'm trying to be specific. With kind regards, Dillis Ipton Senior HR. And that's from me now. I'm not reading out everything, just the, the relevant. 14th of March 2015 my circumstances and that was Mothering Sunday the eve of Mothering Sunday when I write this so here it, it is I think it is time for me to bring my plight to your attention as I don't seem to be seen an end in sight for my predicament I thought the matter would have taken its natural course and get sorted, but it has become even worse since I got back from sick leave. I must point out, however, that this is not a grievance, as I feel no one is aware of exactly what is happening to me at BIB, and I have no concrete evidence to back up my arguments. I have no intentions of knowingly offending anyone either in the process of sharing what has been happening to me either. So on the eve of Mother and Sunday, I am beseeching with you to give me... It's my mother over there. And my husband's mother. I'm beseeching with you to give me a voice and listen to my concerns because I know what is happening to me is real and not figments of my imaginations because I am depressed and I show you I'm shouting I need attention yeah so it's in uppercase and bold I 
I was someone's daughter and granddaughter. I am still someone's sister, niece, auntie and friend. But most of most importantly of all, I am a mother to my two sons and grandmother to four grandchildren. One has been added, so I'm a grandmother to five. And the one that has been added yeah, has a sickle cell diagnosis. So are they gonna say he made it up? And I am a wife. I am in urgent need of counseling and, and support to come to terms with what has been happening to me since the fifth of the first. 2015 at BIB to date. <laughs>